lovers, how are you doing today? So I'm super excited for this video. Before I jump into everything, I just want to say if my makeup's not looking perfect, I'm not normally one of those people who's like, oh, I'm sorry that I don't have my nails painted or my hair's not perfect or whatever because, you know, like... I'm literally a mess all the time, but today especially, I literally put my makeup on 15 hours ago, so that's what's happening here, other than my lipstick. I just applied that now for the video because I was feeling it. But today I'm going to be talking about my January, no, my February favorites. Um, I do want to apologize because I feel like a lot of this is high-end stuff, um, so it's things that my heart's loving, but not necessarily my wallet. Um, or your wallet either if you do um, decide to splurge on any of the things I'm talking about today because they are super, super good. I also have a fail product and then I have a maybe product that I have a question for you guys about. So if you want to hear all of my thoughts on all of that, then just keep watching. Let's just go ahead and hop on into the craziest item here, but there is a reasoning behind this. So this is the Natasha Denona eyeshadows and I just grabbed the two um, palettes that I have from her. doesn't necessarily have to be these. Um, I'm just obsessed with her formula, but her products are literally, they're so worth the hype. I'm going to do a full review eventually, but I said I wanted to take a long time to test out this palette before I did a review on it, and you guys can probably tell that it is starting to get very loved. Her mattes are good, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy her mattes, but her shimmer shadows are absolutely beyond. They have me feeling so spoiled because... I use her shimmers and then I use someone else's, like for example the shimmers in the Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm like, what is this? Like what is this dry eyeshadow? Like it is nothing, like no other shimmer except maybe Juvia's Place and the Morphe Times Jack on Hill palette is the like closest shimmers I can think of to these particular shadows. They are absolutely amazing so i'm i'm obsessed with the metallic shades i can't get over how beautiful they are and i just wanted to mention this palette as well this is the joya holiday palette but it is still available i actually have the other one the blue and orange one which is called aries sitting in my sephora cart hopefully i end up purchasing it before it like stops being sold because it's been sitting there for months now but this palette is absolutely beautiful i actually filmed a look with it the other day i can like leave a little picture right here um, and then I ended up deleting the first half of the video on accident. So if you guys want to see a tutorial on that look that I'm putting a picture of right here, let me know down below and I will refilm it. Um, or if you don't want to see that look and you want to see something else and you just want to see me use this in general, I can definitely do that because this is so, so beautiful. I love the color scheme of her holiday palettes. Like, I just need to go ahead and get Aries. Um, this is a little bit more of a different formula. It's a little bit more creamy, but the metallics are very similar, but the mattes in this, well, the one matte is way more creamy. Like, this matte, you have to build it up a little bit, but it is, these shadows are, like, the easiest to blend ever. It's, it's honestly crazy. Like, I'm just gonna barely put my finger in there. Super, super beautiful. Oh my gosh. This yellow, yellow gold is intense. Okay, I guess I'm using all five fingers, so these swatches are going to be a little wacky, but they are just beautiful. I hope you guys could see that I was not digging in at all. See, that's the pink shade I told you has to be build, built up, but it is stunning. And I feel like the swatches don't even do it justice. Like, I feel like that, that, that does, I mean, they look pretty, but it, it's just... They're so beautiful on the eyes. Like, you guys can see the, the look I posted. And you can see them on my fingers. How pigmented they are. I just feel like they don't... These particular ones do not swatch anywhere near as well as they perform. Okay, so while I'm wiping that off my hand, I figured I would tell you. The reason, like, I mean, I wanted to talk about her eyeshadows because I love them. But I really wanted to talk about them and post this video today. Because she is coming out with a mini palette. So... It is a little five pan palette like this, except it's like this small. It's definitely miniature size, probably more like the eyeshadow size you see in most palettes because her eyeshadows in the full size are like a lot of product. But it is called the Mini Sunset Palette. I can leave like little pictures here and it's only $24. First of all, it's warm tones. I'm here for it. Even if everyone else is over it, I'm here for it. But it is only $24, so that's like... That is accessible. I mean, of course, that's still expensive, but if you have been wanting to try her eyeshadows, like, but you don't want to pay an arm and a leg, and you just want to, you know, test it out, like, this is the perfect 
opportunity to try her shadows so i will definitely be buying that when i did my video on the product i'm talking about next which is the natasha denona diamond and blush palette i had someone comment i wish that she would make smaller sizes with less products so that they were more accessible and more um you know a better price for the average person which i totally agreed but i was like i don't know if she's ever gonna do that but she did it with eyeshadows so maybe she'll do singles of like these the shades in this palette i can only hope and dream so next favorite another natasha Denona. i'm obsessed with her right now I, I can't lie um so this is the daria uh, shade of this palette. The other one is a lot deeper, so I don't think I could pull that off. I actually have this on my face right now. You guys can probably see my highlight. This is a mixture of the Diamond Cream Powder and the Glow Extreme Powder is what I set it with. This is her highlighter after wearing it for 15 hours. So, I mean, I don't have super problematic skin for the most part. It holds on to product pretty well, but for 15 hours, like, yeah, it's good. It's amazing. I mean, you can still see my blush on my cheeks too, which was, um, I believe I just used this cream blush and then I put a little bit of NARS Orgasm on top, but you can still see both products, which is pretty crazy. Um, so I have been loving this palette. I think it's just beautiful. It is such a glow. You know, I'm going to leave a little, a little picture here. I took a picture, um, when I was in like the golden hour sunlight and I could barely keep my eyes open like I don't know how people take cute Instagram pictures because I'm like you know like trying to get a picture of my highlight in the sun like it is the struggle but you can see how beautiful my highlight is which was the highlight here which um the way that I like to use it is I take a little bit of diamond glow which is just so stunning and so natural but then I take the glow extreme and put that all over on top and then if I'm feeling a little extra I'll take the diamond powder and just put it on the highest points the diamond powder does have a little bit of like glitter type um reflex in it so I don't put that everywhere I'm a little bit more sparing with it all of these for you guys before I can link my video down below um or put it like on the little somewhere up here um I can put it but I just figure I'll swatch the little powders for you real quick because they're super easy um to swatch so there's the three bottom powders. You can kind of see the diamond one is like a little bit, like the base is very like non-existent. It's just in the actual light that it shows up. Next, next on our list of crazies. Um, this one's not quite as crazy, but this is the Kevin Aquan Contour Book Volume 2. I always recommend this because it's just a better value. Um, so you open it up and it has like a little booklet and then you go inside and it has a few different products. Um, and all these face products right here are either full size or bigger than full size. But you guys can probably see which shade I've been loving, which is the Sculpting Cream. I don't know why I've just been in, like, in love with cream contour lately which is not me at all but i don't know it's just been working for me i've been trying to have more glowy skin i feel like my skin has just been like dry and just not cute and i just want to glow so i feel like using more cream products has been my go-to lately wow that looks so dark i do not go in with a heavy hand at all i guess it is pretty easy to blend out though so there's what it looks like so now on to the next crazy thing. I kind of forgot about this palette for a little while, but this is the Vizart, oops, almost dropped it, Editorial Mattes Palette. Um, I did get this on like a slight sale, so it wasn't as expensive as it is full price. But the reason why I brought this back out, it's kind of been living in my collection, not being used, is because I've been lusting after the Sugar Pell eyeshadows. I think that they are so beautiful. I can't tell you how many times I've added them in my cart. I'm signed up to their emails. I'm like forever waiting for their like single shadows to go on sale. Like that would be absolutely amazing. That would just cause me to buy them basically. Um, but I ended up just grabbing this because it has a lot of similar colors as what the Sugar Pill line has and like the colors that I want to buy from them. So I've just been using this like crazy. I can like leave little pictures of some looks that I've done with it. Um, and I don't know if you love bright eyeshadows and you love rainbow colors, like this is the eyeshadow palette for you. Like it has everything you need. They blend super easy. They are all matte, but 
I don't mind that at all because I've got tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of shimmers to go along with it. I love using my ColourPop single shadows um, along with this. So I've just been loving this lately and I just figured I'd mention it. I feel like this, of all the uh, visor palettes, I feel like this one doesn't get that much love because it's definitely not your everyday palette, but it's really good. Okay, so next I have an item that I was very back and forth with. We have had a complicated relationship. So this is the Aurora Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. When it first released, I was like, oh my gosh, that is the ugliest, ugliest highlighter palette I've ever seen. I'm like, those are such, like, no one's going to use those shades. Like, I just was not feeling it at all. I was like, no, no, nope, I'm not here for it. Then I went in store and I swatched it and I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was actually a lot more wearable than I realized. But I had so many other highlighters, so many duochrome highlighters that I just let it go. Well, during their, might have been Black Friday on Ulta, they had the Aurora and the Moonchild um, palettes for $24 each. And then I redeemed a bunch of points and I ended up paying... I think $29 for both of them so I got $40 palettes for $15 so it was definitely something I bought because I was getting such a great deal on it but now after using it I would definitely pay full price I'm obsessed with this palette so I feel like it looks so ridiculous when you're looking at it and I will say that there's two shades that I would not use like all over face highlighters and that's the blue and the purple because I mean I just I don't have my skin's too fair to pull off a blue or purple highlight, um, at least not one that that's so blue and purple. Um, I would need just like a slight blue or purple undertone to be able to pull it off. But those are so beautiful on the inner corner. Like I can't even tell you, like I'm obsessed with putting highlighter shades on the inner corner, at least duochrome highlighters. So those are those two, super beautiful. See, if you can see, the bl the purple one kind of has like a blackish base, so that one just really does not work on my cheeks. I feel like I could maybe sheer the blue out and make it work, but these other four shades, even the green one I wore on my cheek, it is, they're just, I can't even tell you how beautiful are they. And I feel like everyone's like, I am over duochrome highlighters, like who actually wears them? These are so wearable, like, okay, there's the green one which is more like a gold when you put it on your face. And there's all the other shades. So there's like a gold, like a white shade, which I like mixing this in with the others. And then a really nice pinky with like gold reflex in it. They are all just absolutely gorgeous. Just do a few drugstore things real quick. I have the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. You guys can see I'm like getting down to here. I really love this setting spray. I've been using it every day. It has a super fine mist. It's actually what I used today. Um, I just really like it. I feel like it does kind of give you a little bit more of a dewy look. Like it definitely really refreshes your makeup and takes away the powdery look. Um, and I feel like this is the one that after... I have quite a few setting sprays to go through. But when I finish them, I think this is the one that I'm going to be repurchasing. And no other ones because it's just it's a good price it's a really good spray so next I have a few lippies the first one is the BH cosmetics waterproof lip liner and this is the shade earth I have been just been waiting for this moment I feel like I've been waiting forever to find a lip liner that I fall in love with and I'm like I don't want to use anything else like this is my perfect lip liner like I've tried so many lip liners and it's never happened but here we are today this is my lip liner like it's just so perfect it's a perfect shade <laughs> I have to mention this this is the Doso Colors Liquid Lipstick in Lazy Daisy this was a part of their holiday trio and I think it was the cuddle no the struggle is real no I think it was the cuddle is real right okay it was their nude trio of liquid lipsticks and this was my favorite shade of the bunch by far and they released them as singles so now you can go and get just a single shade they also have all the reds and singles as well um i actually wore this all day today got a few compliments it's just a beautiful pinky brown nude shade i'm so bad at, at describing colors like it's absolutely ridiculous but that is what it looks like super super pretty love 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 the way that this looks also wanted to mention the color pop um what is this called? Luxe lipstick. 
The shade in particular I wanted to mention, which is actually their limited edition one, is Pinkies Up. Which, of course, that's the one I'm going to go for. The limited edition one. Like, why is that the one that I like the most? Um, so this is the shade that I keep wearing. It's, like, I don't know. It's a little bit more cool than the previous liquid lipstick. And it's just... But it's still kind of like that pinky nude brown shade. So I've been wearing this a ton since I got that. And just... It's really, really comfortable, really creamy on the lips. In case you're wondering, the liquid, the not the liquid lipstick. The lipstick that I'm wearing right now is actually another ColourPop um, Luxe lipstick. This is the first time I've worn it other than um, for my lip swatch video just because I don't wear dark colors that often. But I do really like this color. It's called 27. I feel like it's kind of similar to Dosa Colors Mondays where it's kind of like that like burgundy shade except toned down which I'm obsessed with Dose of Colors Mondays. Like, that's my all-time favorite liquid lipstick for fall. Um, but I mean, yeah, I guess I'll just swatch this for you guys real quick, too. I just feel like it's such a pretty, like, like unique take on a burgundy. Like, it's just a, there's just something about it that's just a little bit different. So I really like that shade. I really like the formula, which I can say because I've been wearing pinkies up all month. But... I'm wearing this now so I figured I'd just show it to you guys maybe I wanted to ask you guys is the Jouer lip toppers I bought three of these because everyone hyped them up everyone talked about how amazing they are and I don't know I just I'm not feeling it I just I don't know it, maybe it's the shades that I have even though I have I have um, skinny dip I have Saint Tropez Tropez so Saint Tropez I'm not sure if you pronounce that Z or not um, and then I have the icy color, which I can't remember what it's called right now either, which is like a white shade. I feel like these are almost too pigmented. Like they are very, very strong metallic on your lips. And I kind of put them in the middle to get like that like glossy effect. But I feel like it's not even gloss. It's just like straight up glitter. But I feel like I hear everyone rave about these. And I just, I don't know. So what I was going to ask you guys is do you have any lip combo recommendations anything that you like love to pair these lip toppers with i do really like this on top of fenty glow lip gloss um so maybe that's what i'm doing wrong i need to do a lip gloss and then do just a touch touch just a little tiny touch of this on the center but i feel like i don't go for metallic lips i like matte i like like kind of like the cream that i'm wearing now and i like glossy but i don't like metallic i don't really like glitter so, I don't, I don't know. I thought this was going to work for me. So, if you have any lip combos you want to let me know about, I would very much appreciate that. The last product I have to talk about. I knew that I hated this. I knew I hated it. But I've been, like, trying to go through my collection and I saw it and I was like, maybe it's time to declutter you. But I decided I was going to try it first, just try it again, make sure I hated it as much as I thought I hated it. I don't know why I needed to do that. So this is a Too Faced Lip Injection Power Plumping Lip Gloss. This is the worst product in the entire world. I don't understand how anyone can actually use this or recommend it. So I already knew that if I put it on my lips by, my, by themselves, like my lips would literally like get swollen, would get red, like it is just like... I know that what the product that's in here is probably like some like type of venom that's supposed to give you an allergic reaction and that's why your lips swell but I don't know if it's just me if I get like even more intense allergic reaction to this but I put it over I put a lip liner all, the, all over my mouth I put a lip gloss or no a lipstick on top of it and then I put just a dab of this on my mouth it's beautiful it is like the prettiest gloss ever like it is just like that really luscious like glossy glossy lip but I kid you not within like a minute my lips started hurting they started burning through two layers of product which I've had other pumping glosses that I can't put on by themselves on my lips but when I put them on top of other product it's not so bad so I ended up taking the lipstick off and I'm not kidding you that was like a full probably 40 hours ago and my lips still hurt like they feel like they're bruised no lies I'm throwing this stupid little deluxe sample away this was the worst idea I don't know why I decided to try it again 
but I feel like I've only ever heard people talk about positive things about this lip injection. Like this actually feels like you got lip injections. Like it actually feels like your lips are bruised. So this is a big giant no. And that is the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you have any favorites for the month down below, if anything that I should be checking out. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.